In this video, we're gonna talk about Chardonnay. Welcome back to Drinking It In. I'm your host, Chris Cassara. We are here to help you know more and drink better. Um, we're talking about Chardonnay today, which can be a bit of a polarizing grape. Um, I really, really enjoy Chardonnay across all the different ways that it can be produced, but you know, people tend to either love it or hate it. There are some people who are like, I will not drink a Chardonnay, I can't do it. And then there are other people who just don't drink anything but Chardonnay. So um, I have uh, two of my favorites here. And um, you know, I think one of the things to understand about Chardonnay is that they can really range from really big, oaky and buttery to something that's unoaked and very citrus forward. So you have to, um, you know, really zero in on, on what you like. And in, in this case, I've got two Chardonnays that have some oak treatment, but come across as, um, you know, really friendly wine. So they can be, uh, they can be good for, for somebody who enjoys some oak in their uh, Chardonnays or somebody who really just likes, you know, more of an un-oak style. So Chardonnay is, um, if you think about our scale, right, from the light end to the heavy end of the white wine, Chardonnay is one of the bigger, heavier um, weight wines uh, on, in, in, from a white wine perspective. Um, you're gonna get uh, you know, lots of citrus, pear, and apple notes, and depending on how much oak is used, you can get lots of, you can get kind of buttered popcorn and creme brulee and vanilla um, as well. So um, let us start tasting these wines. Um, I'm gonna start over here in South Africa and then we'll go to Sonoma, California. Um, I'm gonna pour a little more of this uh, 2017 Hamilton Russell Chardonnay from South Africa um, from the uh, Hemel and Ard Valley. Um, so, the, the Hamilton Russell, if you ever get a chance to go to a tasting where Anthony and Olive Hamilton Russell are there, you need to go because they're just like two of the most delightful people you'll ever meet. Um, Anthony is like a, you know, the most stylish guy I've ever seen. I wish I could pull off some of the hats that he wears, but, um, you know, I don't think I can. So let's see what this guy is uh, bringing to us. So right off the bat, it's, um, <laughs> it's funny. Right off the bat, this is very much um, apples, circus peanuts, and citrus. So if you remember the circus peanuts candy, I don't even know they still make them. They're sort of like, they have like an orange, sugary orangey texture. So apples, circus peanuts, and citrus. You can smell that there's a little oak that has been used here, but it's very, very subtle, very subtle. Mm. So this wine is incredibly clean. Um, there's a, a minerality aspect to it that, that um, I don't know that normally comes across in Chardonnay, but it really does here. It's got a nice dryness, almost a touch of bitterness, um, but all of those fruits are just dancing all over your palate. It's really, I mean, it's, it's always been, I mean, I've had many, many vintages of this and it's always been one of my favorites and this one's no different. Hmm. Good, good stuff. Um, all right, so let's move across here to the uh, 2015 Chardonnay from Sojourn Cellars from the San Giacomo Vineyard. I think actually in my in the Cabernet episode that I just recorded, um, we went with a Sojourn Cellars uh, wine. So you will notice, um, I guess, some favoritism here. Uh, you've got to get on their mailing list. They make amazing, amazing wines, and they're um, you know, and they're well priced. They're not cheap, but they're well priced. So this guy, so we had, I had this one when we tasted, when we went to Sonoma and tasted at the uh, Sojourn tasting room and I was just blown away by it. I mean, I've always liked their Chardonnays, but this San Giacomo Vineyard one in particular was, um, you know, just really knocked my socks off. So let's see what, uh, let's see what this brings up. 
Okay, so, so this guy has, it's got more oak, so there's a buttery um, vanilla, you know, creme brulee type of note in there. And, you know, pear and citrus, I would say. It's, it's funny because I think this one has more like new oak barrels used in the process, but this one definitely comes across with more um, oaky aromas. Um, interesting. Let's give it a taste. So tangy, zingy, but smooth and buttery. So this has the, the butter, the light sort of butter notes come across um, as if they're intermingled with lemons here. So, so this one is going to satisfy more of your, um, I guess, the, the Chardonnay drinkers who really love a big oaky Chardonnay. This is not a big oaky Chardonnay, but it gives some of those notes. So if, you know, if you need to... Uh, draw one of those folks in, you can, and not, you know, insult the person who doesn't want all the oak. Uh, just great stuff. The the length on actually both of these wines are really, really great. Um, they stay with you for a while. I'm still tasting this one. And really, I could sort of sit here and smell this wine all day. Um, you know, I think I've said that a couple of times. Definitely would make for a boring video. All right. Well, so knowing what these wines taste like and what they what their the weight and the acidity is um you know what should you be what foods should you be serving with chardonnay so the old adage i guess is that if it's something you want to put butter on um then chardonnay is going to work well with it and that actually that actually has now given me an idea that we should put that to the test and maybe actually do some butter tasting with Chardonnay. See if it really holds up and see if it really works well. But, you know, so think about that, right? What do you put butter on? Lobster, um, seafood, scallops. You can drink Chardonnay with scallops. Um, you know, Chardonnay with fried chicken is amazing. Um, Fried chicken with champagne is even more amazing, which champagne does have some Chardonnay and it could be 100% Chardonnay too, depending on the blends. Um, that's about all I have for you right now. Hopefully you've, um, you've gotten something out of this episode. I'd appreciate it if you uh, would like, subscribe, uh, you know, put on that notification bell so you don't miss an episode and we will see you next time. Cheers.